circular motion. Plumping the skin up and boots in the collagen production in the skin and just lift, lift, just play with this on your skin. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the castor oil to create a wonderful facial scrub. Now the castor oil is loaded with five essential fatty acids, vitamins and mineral vitamins such as vitamin E that's going to help to lock the moisture in the skin. The castor oil guys is so overlooked when it comes on to skincare. People shy away from it because it have this strong smell. However, when you mix it with other other ingredient it's gonna cut down on that smell but guess what you're gonna reap amazing benefits because of the wonderful antioxidant that is in the castor oil so if you're interested in seeing how I use the castor oil in my facial scrub continue watching the video now take a look at what I have here and this is the castor oil this is the Jamaican black castor oil However, if you have the regular white castor oil, go ahead and use that. And now here I'm going to introduce a second ingredient and this is baking soda. Baking soda is a great exfoliator for your skin. It will help to slush off the dead skin cell. It will help to clean the pores out and the granules are so fine that it will exfoliate the grease from your skin, leaving your face just fresh and radiant. So. I'm just going to pour some baking soda here and remember baking soda is sodium bicarbonate not baking powder. Now take a look at what I have here. This is dried orange peel and I'm also going to be using the dry orange peel in this recipe. Orange peel is loaded with vitamin C and they make a wonderful scrub when you blend them. So what I did, I dried the orange peel in a brown paper bag for a couple of weeks and then they look like this and I just place them in the blender and blend and here I have the dry orange peel powder. If you want a dose of vitamin C, definitely use up some dried orange peel in your beauty care. Now this amount that I'm making, you can use it either one or two times. So I'm going to be using one tablespoon of baking soda, which is 15 ml. I'm going to be using one teaspoon of the dried orange peel, which is 5 ml. Pour that in the baking soda and I'm just going to blend the two together. Make sure to get rid of any lumps that might be in the baking soda. So just blend it together. I'm taking my time to make sure I get the lumps out. Now once this is done, we are going to reach for the castor oil. And a little goes a long way. And I'm going to use one teaspoon of the castor oil, 5 ml. You really do not need a lot. So I'm going to pour this in. Try to get everything out. And now I'm going to slowly blend this together. Now do not add any more oil to it. Just take your time and work it in with the baking soda and the dried orange peel. A little oil goes a long way, okay? So just mix the two together slowly, take your time, no rush, blend it in. Now if it's a little too dry, let's do a little testing. Let's do a little testing and right now, mine is feeling a little dry. So I'm gonna go back in and pour just a little touch few more drops, not a lot. You don't want to overdo it. And we are going to blend it. We need it to be a little soft, not too dry. And this is perfect now. This is exactly how we want it to be. So we're going to just blend this together and blend well. Just keep blending. And you need it to be this soft, okay? You don't need it to be hard. You need it to be more on the creamier side. So if you need a little bit more castor oil to make it creamy, 
go ahead and pour a little bit more and take a look at this this is exactly how you want it to be a little runny but also a little stiff just basically more taffy like all right so now let's go on the other side and show you how to use this for best results so here we have the castor oil baking soda orange peel facial scrub and you want to make sure to always give it a stir before you apply it to the skin now you want to apply this on clean skin so wash your face before preferably with some warm water because that is going to help to open the pores okay and then we're going to go in and we're going to take some of the mixture i like to put it in my hands like this warm it up a bit take a look at my face before and now I'm gonna apply this goodness and I like to apply it in circular motion so just exfoliate the skin and most time people know what pressure to put on their skin everyone is different you know some people could put a little more pressure while some people need to put a little less pressure when exfoliating their skin for me I just do press basically normal pressure on the skin and so just exfoliate now when it comes on to castor oil i used to take castor oil as a kid they used to give it to us especially close to back to school as a form of a laxative now i hate this thing so much like Castor oil smell so bad, tastes so bad, make you want to puke whenever you take it. And I just was not loving castor oil at all. Just the word alone used to be a turned off for me, like gross. Anytime I hear the word castor oil, all I could think of is the bad taste, how gross it is, that unpleasant fragrant okay now so whenever they gave it to us they never actually allow us to take it ourselves they would put it in a spoon a teaspoon and then they would like ah oh, open your mouth and once your mouth is open they just put it in your mouth and tell you swallow 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 me and I as a kid I would be like gaga like ah, 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 ah. Uh, really really nasty however most of the time when we get these things, it used to be my grandmother. She liked to give us all these kind of, mm, kind of thing. However, she would have a little bit of a honey. And if you're a good kid and you swallow that castor oil, then you would get a little bit of a honey in your hands to just lick at it, putting back a little sweet taste in your mouth. Amazing. So here you could see I exfoliate my entire face don't be afraid to take this down the neck and the decollete do not let this get in your eyes however you can go as close as possible to the under eyes since it will help to eliminate the dark under eye circles and also to hydrate the under eyes a lot of people don't know that it is good to hydrate the under eyes and that's why we use all these wonderful facial serum and facial cream under there the so ones under your eyes are hydrated, it helps to plump and get rid of the wrinkles and also show less of the dark circles if you have those. And now once you spend about three to four minutes exfoliating the skin with this facial mask, you do not need to leave it on. So just go ahead and rinse it off right away. So I'm gonna rinse mine off and I will be back with the result. Also, this is great to exfoliate your hands, especially if you have wrinkle and the back of your hands don't look great at all. It's looking a little dull and aging. Just exfoliate your hands. Now you want to use this at least two to three times per week for best result and 
You can store this in your refrigerator 10-15 days. It's not going to go bad. You can even choose to store this on your countertop or in your bathroom. There's no water in it, so it's going to last you a long time. I like to end with a little facial massage. So there you have it. What are you waiting for? Get yourself some castor oil and give this a try. Use it for a couple and come back and leave your comments. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.